Spark delightful any day of the week. Come on in. Let's make some lovely vegetable fish soup. Dal, I give it a good soak overnight, or you could soak it up to a couple hours, and let's just give it a little boil for like ten minutes. Here I have my pumpkin, my calabasa squash, and it's a bit frozen, so I leave the skin on. There you go. I'm going to give this a good rinse just now. Here I have two pimento peppers. I have my green season. If you look at that video, you will see that green season with all those herbs. And here I have my peppers. And in here now, I'm going to give everything here a good wash, which I did already, but I'll give it a spray again. I have parsley, cilantro, and my escalion or chive or scythe. I have a piece of green pepper, fresh sweet corn, my carrots. This is a piece of malanga, coco malanga. It belongs to the family. It's like dashing head. It belongs to that Edo family too. And this is Edo's here. Sweet Korean potato, sweet potato, Korean ones. And this is my red onion and my garlic. So what I'm going to do, I'm all going to spray it up again. And I'm going to add some water in a bowl. Squeeze some lime juice and give this a good wash. Put this lovely together. So here I have my two lovely pieces of kingfish that I give a good wash and season with my favorite spices and herbs. All our vegetables is right here already in that lime juice, soaking and wash clean and nice. That split peas is boiling very nicely there. Here I have my golden ray cooking margarine that bring back that rich creole flavor. Add some butter into the pot. Raise the heat on high and just rest, rest my two slices of kingfish. Good. I want to flip them over. That's perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. Just give it a little tighten up and just a slight little brown. No big set of brown in there. This is going to lock in some flavors and you don't get that rawness sort of taste of your fish. So now what I want to do is add a tablespoon of oil, onions on the side and that garlic and all those green herbs on this side. It'll infuse in here. We're just going to lower that heat a little bit. And let the garlic and the onion sweat a little bit into the pot. Really some lovely flavors in there. Just for about a minute. Okay, let's take a look at the fish now. Yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So let's take this let's fish take out. a look now. This looks marvelous. And the kitchen smells wonderful. Let's add that herbs that we have these there. peppers in four. But leave it intact. This is going to release a lot of flavors in there. And you're going to serve this whole and keep it for your garnish. In goes the vegetables. It's a good mix. Let's put that lid on and keep this here for two good okay, minutes. Okay, let's take a look now in that pot. All right, so we're on medium-low heat. So here I have that dal. Let's add that in, or split piece. And here I have two. It's a flavored bouillon. That is what it is. Flavored bouillon and chili. Let's add that in. Now we're going to be careful with adding our salts because you know those bouillon tend to have a lot of salt. So I'm going to sprinkle very little salt in there. And now we're going to give this a mix. Add a little bit of crayfish powder. Now if you have crayfish powder, fine. If you do not have it, it's not a problem. It's a seafood, fish, crab, whatever flavor rings that you have. You're free to add that in. You know the flavors your family likes. While I boil water to add to continue the process of cooking. Okay, the kitchen smells great. I am hungry and I haven't started cooking yet. Isn't that something? So here those corn, the sweet corn, they cook very quickly. These don't take too much time to cook. And all my vegetables is at bite size. So everything is going to cook evenly and smooth. Now in goes some boiling water. Give it a good mix so all the salts and the flavorings can meet each other in there and marry together and expel a beautiful flavor here for fish Let soup. me know where you're tuning in from. What part of the world you're joining Jenny's Walk from. Give me what ideas you will put in here. I know number one will be um, okra and green Please, bananas. Let's take a look now in that pot. Okay, this looks great. Let's lower the heat a little bit. So let's do that testing. For my new foodies, I could already tell that this is done, but to let you know, you could just pick up your vegetables. You take the tip of your knife and you just pierce it in. There is no tension. You know it's done. So the hardest vegetable you could just pierce once you get a tension, you know the softest one also is done. So everything here seems to be fine. This is perfect. So what we want to do now, I want to taste it to see if we need to do any salt adjustment right now. So let me taste this. 
oh wow such a lovely fish flavor i love it so some of you may not like the Nathan flavor or that <laughs> that lovely golden ray cooking margarine. I bring back that rich Creole flavor from the beautiful island of Trinidad. That's it's the island flavor. I think other islands also have this cooking margarine. This is a point where I will add it. If you do not like it, not a problem. I totally understand. So I'm going to add my golden ray in there. Give a nice little flavor. And this is a time where we're just going to add our kingfish. Now to give it a little cook because we just give it a little... Uh, coloring all of this stuff is going to go in there and we're going to lower that heat on low it's medium low but we're going to leave it on low and we're only going to go for two minutes because we do not want our fish to overcook and break so that looks marvelous smells great like and share the lovely vid jenny's walk here doing a lovely fish soup here with kingfish for all my lovely foodies outside there warm welcome to each and every one of you let me know where you're joining in from what part of the world are you coming in from for to enjoy these lovely flavors coming out of jenny's world in here foodies i have the other half of that lime Red onions here is the cilantro and the and this parsley. is the white and green part of the chive well there you go to give that a good mix foodies, our food is all done and now you know it's that time it's plate in time so in my big bowl i want to enjoy a big bowl of soup so i'm going to add some of that lovely I don't know how what name is this is this a salsa let me know how you would call this in goes that now let's place our vegetable. vegetable that we have in that pot we're going to add it into our plate there you go our carrots edo sweet potato you're going to add two pieces of corn one and two right there Fish. Just nestle it right in there and let's look for that pepper, now. pepper from that beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago and this is a piece of that pumpkin the broth of the soup that's like so this is such a lovely dish to enjoy I remember granny making a big pot of soup it may not be the same soup like me she will make this on a Saturday and we all had a lovely big bowl of soup and you know you get hungry so quickly after eating soup so we have our corn let's fix this really beautiful one and two pieces of corn there and if you have some avocado my husband is, is spanish you know puerto rican and they love their avocado with their soup so i have some avocado i got over here what is was left of it and now i want to add back some of this little salsa i will call it a salsa lovely tangy taste you're going to get from this fresh herbs and that lemon so juice. lovely and I'm just gonna put a little there you go a little presentation right there what more can we ask for lovely soup here fish soup from Jenny's walk let's not hide that that fish so maybe we should put this pepper somewhere else okay just drape it across like that just like so so I'm gonna try this soup with the same little spoon that I made that with I'm getting some of that liquid here from that salsa that we made. Bon appetit. Let me try this. Oh, wow. Lovely tangy taste I'm getting there. No spice at all. It's not spicy. So, my dear foodie, lovely dish here for you to enjoy from Jenny's Walk. Delightful kingfish soup with simple vegetables whatever you have in the kitchen go ahead give it a try simple and easy do it so don't forget to leave me a comment like and share this video with your friends and family join in to facebook instagram and follow me my dear foodies subscribe to my youtube channel for lots more flavors coming out of jenny's walk from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking